Hey, welcome back everybody. If you've been following me recently, you may have seen this little project that I'm working on, a little software as a service thing, where essentially we're allowing designers, developers, no coders, coders to come in and bring a template with them or choose from some predefined templates and very easily edit those templates and then generate code from that that they can use in their website. We'll also have an option to just do a one-click publish, especially if someone has zero coding experience. So let me demo that for you real quick. Uh, this is <laughs> the user interface is not styled in any way, shape, or form. So uh, try to move past that and let's look at the functionality. So a user is logged in. They can go view templates. Currently, we don't have any. So let's create a new one. And this one we'll just call simple website. And the description of this website will just be a simple website. And so I've got a template somewhere. Here it is. So this is the template that we're gonna be working from. Imagine that you go out and you pay for, or you download or you design and code yourself a template. Doesn't matter how you come about that template, you just have a template. This is a very simple version, but any type of website with predefined content and images, and you want to modify that for yourself or for a client. So this just has some general uh, heading one, heading two, paragraph, button, image, etc. So this is our template HTML file. Everything is encased in the HTML, including the CSS, uh, but you could essentially have an entire project with separate assets. So then over here, you choose the file to create the template from. We choose our template HTML file and we submit it. It's gonna take us back to the index and this is where it would list all of your templates. And in the future, it would list your templates and then other people's templates, public templates that you can choose from if you want to use someone else's template. So here it is, we click on it. It takes us to a very similar rendition of the website, except you'll notice that in the top right corner, we have a download button. The other thing that's really important to know is that any text on the page, if you click on it, you can immediately begin to edit it. So you can put whatever you want. Uh, let's just say Dev Sprout, and then you can tab through to the next one and you can change it to whatever you like. And we could make this our email at email.com. And then your call to action here. So we can say something like uh, contact me. And that's it. Everything has been updated in the database while we were doing it. So there's no need to like push any buttons or anything. We can just head it straight over here to the download button and click download. And it's going to give us a zip file. Has a index.html file inside of it. This is again a very simplified version. In the future, you would see static assets, style sheets, things like that. So we can go ahead and open this file, and you can see that the original website is here. Here's our edited website. We didn't need to use any code whatsoever. We're able to change that content in just a couple of seconds. And now we can take this website and upload it to our server, or as a feature, we'll have the ability for you to just do a one click and publish your website to your server. That's it, thanks for watching. Let me know what you think in the comments below. I'm gonna set up a newsletter for this in the near future, so if you really wanna stay in touch and learn more about how you can use this uh, app for yourself, then definitely check that out and stay tuned for future updates. Thanks for your time, and we'll catch you in the next video. Peace.